Kelly, should we get started? Yeah? Okay. Uh, hello, I'm Daniel and welcome to my channel and today we are going to be filming a little video where I'm going to be showing my vinyl collection. I've been a vinyl collector since 2018 so I'm not going to show all my vinyls because we will be here for years but I'm just going to show all the vinyls of the people in my stand list and show all the different colour variants I got and it'll be fun and I'll go over all my favourite songs on that album and yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so we're gonna start off strong with my bays. This girl group have literally owned my existence since like I was a fetus. So we're gonna start with Little Mix. If Charlie wants to leave the vinyls alone. So first we have Glory Days. Sadly, DNA, Salute and Get Weird are not best on vinyl, which is really annoying because I love those albums with all my heart. I'd say from Glory Days, my top three songs of no order are probably Private Show, power and is your love enough so here is the inside of the vinyl i love this design it's so cute i think i got this this was one of the first vinyls i got and it is i'm gonna tap charlie i'm gonna just touch it with this so i don't get my grubby hands all over it but it's in a neon pink pressing it is so cute this is probably one of my favorite pressings of the vinyl it's just top tier up next we have LM5, the best album by Little Mix, of course, that is not even up for debate. My top three from this album will probably be Wasabi, Forget You Not, and either Woman's World or Motivate, I feel. This is just on standard black, so I won't bother pressing it out of the sleeve. But on the inside it just simply says LM5 with a blue sky background from a super deluxe edition and yeah it's really exciting another vinyl i've got from little mix isn't actually an album it's the bounce back single i fought long and hard to get this vinyl i didn't actually get it when it came out because they had a pressing of each four members and i never got it at the time because i weren't earning money and 25 pounds on a vinyl for one song was a lot for 13 year old me to comprehend so a few years later i did get it on resale for ebay it was slightly above the original price which is painful but it was worth it in my opinion because this is such a pretty vinyl and i got the version with leanne on it because we love her up next we have confetti and i actually have two editions of this i have oh god the version, the picture disc of Perry and oh my, can we take a second to appreciate having this photo? Like, oh my god, love her. And then we've also got the actual confetti album, and this is just on a splatter vinyl, and this is probably one of my favourite vinyls I have because it is so pretty. Like, I don't have any other splatter vinyls, and this is just my chef's kiss. Like, look at that. That is, that is a gorgy hand if I've ever seen one, you know what I mean. My favourite songs on Confetti will probably be Sweet Melody, Confetti, the remix of Sweetie, and If You Want My Love or Breathe. Breathe is an underrated tune and I love Breathe. And I don't feel like it gets the love it deserves, you know what I mean? And the last ones for my Little Mix collection is the Between Us album, their greatest hits album with a few new tracks on it. We have got the Jade vinyl and they actually sent me two versions of this because there was like an error on the disc and look how pretty this vinyl is. Like this is, I know I say this for every Little Mix vinyl I got but like one of my favourite pressings. I feel like my Little Mix pressings are like some of my favourite ones that I cherish the most. Like you've got Jade on this side and then the three of them there. And I noticed on this, when you look at the track list, it has Mr. Loverboy. But there's a typo and it says my lover boy. I do not get how that made it through the printing process and no one picked up on that. But I also have the same vinyl but with Leanne on it. And it's the same for the three of them and then it's got Leanne on this side. It's so pretty. I haven't got the version with Perry on it for this one and it really annoys me but like there's barely any going on resale and if they are they're so expensive and I just do not have the money to spend on that after the Eras tour, so. <laughs> and then my final edition of Between Us, which was right up here, so now my shelf looks so empty, is like the Spotify exclusive green vinyl, which was exclusive to, I wanna say, 
there was only 1,000 copies of it available and it was available to their top 1,000 listeners in 2021, the year that Between Us came out. And I was in the top 1,000 listeners and I got a post that printed which number I am, so let me just check. So I was Little Mix's 651st top listener of 2021, so that's a bit of a flex. So I'll show you the list of record. This is just like a green for Spotify because it was like a Spotify exclusive fans first final. It is so pretty, like, I love this shade of green so much. Like, if you know me, you know I love green. Like, look at my wall. Like, green is my branding, so I very much love this vinyl. And then inside of the vinyl, you've got a gorgeous pair of the three of them. Like, look at them. I love when vinyls, like, have, like, the back spine and then they come out and it's, like, an image, like, printed across the two sides. Like, it's so satisfying. I love it so much. And then my favourites from Between Us... I'm not gonna include the greatest hits because I feel like that's unfair because it's not from one album, it's across their whole career. But out of the new songs on the album, I'll have to say Cut You Off, Heartbreak Anthem, and Between Us because all well, that song, there's no dry eye in this room when that's playing. <laughs> now we are gonna head on to my Taylor Swift collection. Taylor Swift is like my joint first favourite artist of all time alongside Little Mix. Like, love her with all my heart she is like proper my childhood you know what i mean so i have every album by her minus debut and i really want to get to de get debut but it's got to the point now i'm like do i just wait for taylor's version so the profit goes to her and not scooter born you know what i mean but so first we got fearless taylor's version this final costs like an arm and a leg but it was very worth it like look there's like three discs in here, I swear, two di God, it's all falling. <laughs> but yeah, Fearless Taylor's version. My favourite songs are probably The Way I Loved You, Forever and Always, and Mr. Perfectly Fine. Like, top tier. The vinyl comes in this like gold colour. Not gonna lie, not really a big fan of the colour, but it's Fearless, so I had to get the vinyl. Like, I don't know if that's an unpopular opinion, that I'm not really a fan of that variant. But it matches the front cover perfectly, so I get why it was chosen. I just, it would have been cute for like a yellow splatter vinyl moment, you know what I mean? But regardless, I love the Fearless album so much, so very happy I got this on vinyl. Now my next Taylor vinyl is Speak Now. I don't have Taylor's version yet because I am waiting for Payday, but this is just on standard black, so I won't bother taking it out of the sleeve for you. But my favourites on this album have got to be Back to December, Better Than Revenge, and either Enchanted or Haunted. Either ones of those two. Now next up I got Red Taylor's version. Red is just love this album so much. And I would probably say my favourites from this album are all too well. Ten minute, of course, like don't even have to think twice about that. And Starlight, Message in a Bottle. Yeah, Message in a Bottle. And that's just on Standard Black. So I won't bother showing you that one. But then I've got 1989 on vinyl. I love oh, 1989. It just reminds me of like summer 2014, being in like year four, like singing Shake It Off in blank space with all my friends and like screaming Welcome to New York at the top of my lungs in my room. Like, oh, I love it so much. This is the inside of 1989. I love how she like continued the Polaroids throughout. This is just on a standard black, but I do however have, and this is quite rare, like they don't sell them with the CDs anymore, the photos of 1989. And it's got all the Polaroids of Taylor in it. They sold these when 1989 first came out. So that's why I got them. Whereas I don't think they sell them with the CDs anymore. But this is just some standard black and my favourite tracks will probably be Style because I met Taylor and Harry Bay till the day I die and all you had to do was stay and out of the woods. She picked very well with the singles from 1989 I fear. My next Taylor album is my favourite album of hers of all time. Like you cannot beat this album, I don't care how many like she releases, reputation will always be my number one album of hers 
and this is on a picture disc so i'll show you all the picture discs as well but my favorite songs i don't even have to look for this album in no order it's getaway car i did something bad and don't blame me those songs have been my ride or dies ever since the first listen and i am still furious that don't blame me has become a tiktok song because that when i tell people one of my favorite taylor songs i don't blame me they think i'm a tiktok fan it really annoys me so now for reputation all the inner sleeves like they are newspapers just like the actual like front cover itself which all right i'm just i'm a big fan of cohesive albums and album works and reputation is that so i love it so much and on the picture disc you've got the front cover on this side and then on the other side you've got the other photo of her i'm not gonna lie i'm very rarely a huge fan of picture discs but I feel like Reputation is an album that suits picture discs so well. And then the second final of Reputation, we love to see it. I would one day love to get my hands on the orange pressing of Reputation, but it is just so expensive and I can't justify spending 500 quid on a vinyl. <laughs> Next up, we have her most underrated album of all time, but it is finally getting the recognition it deserves so we love to see that for her but it is lover i love lover like it is just like the aesthetics to lover is my aesthetics so as soon as this era began i just fell in love with this album despite what everyone was saying online about it at the time and my favorite songs from lover have always been cruel summer and that's now becoming the tiktok song so smile through the pain as well as false god a London boy. My lover vinyl is pressed on a pink and blue vinyl. It is like so pretty, one of the prettiest vinyls I own. I probably, this is one of the vinyls I spin the most. This and folklore probably I play the most. Like this is the pink pressing, so pretty. I love it so much. And then on this bit, we have the blue pressing, which I love in my whole heart. Like look how pretty that is. And I love this photo of Taylor as well. This is the inner sleeve to lover. It's very much giving 2013 Tumblr girly. And I love that for her. Just the whole lover photo shoot is so good. And to continue off lover, I have got lover live from Paris. I actually can't believe that I got this because it sold out so quickly and within a day it was like reselling for like triple the price it was sold at because it is that wear. So we have got the first bit and then we have got, oh yeah it's stuck on isn't it? Never mind. We got the blue side as well. I've only got this like a week ago. No, not a week ago. I got it quite recently and I'm yet to pull it in like a proper in a sleeve thing to like take proper care of it but that is very much at the top of my to-do list and now we have the vinyl that i probably listen to the most no album sounds good on a vinyl the way folklore does like folklore it's just this album was made to play on vinyl i fear like it is so good here is like the inner sleeve so pretty like everything about this folklore album everything about this folklore everything about this album it changed my life like it sounds dramatic but like folklore view changed the way i view life like oh i just love it so much and i love how the album is printed on this color because it looks like a tree color like the whole vibe to folklore and i just love this album my whole heart my favorite songs are probably august my tears ricochet and the one i really like the one it's like just it's all the feelings and more and then we have folklore's younger cool sister evermore but here is the inner sleeve to evermore and then here's the back of it my favorite tracks from evermore are probably nobody no crime champagne problems and right where you left me right where you left me is like the top of my list of dream surprise songs for the era's tour alongside getaway car for me and now we have her most recent album midnights i have midnights on all five variants but i'm not gonna bore you showing all five versions because we will be here forever but this is just the standard blue version i want to say it's blood moonstone i can't remember the names of them all but i did get a signed poster alongside 
this version of Midnight's and I love it so much. Like, I still need to find a good home for this, but I don't know what to do with it properly because it is quite a big poster, so it's not like I can put it in a, like, frame and just have it on my desk, you know what I mean? So, we'll find a home for her eventually. She will have her moment in my room, don't you worry? Here is the actual Midnight's disc. I love it so much. Midnight's is probably in my top three albums by her and I feel like that is quite an unpopular opinion. Like, no one hates Midnight's. Like, everyone loves Midnight's. I just feel like it's very much middle ranking for most of the fandom of her albums. Whereas for me, it is like up there with Reputation and Lover, probably. Yeah, probably those feel my top three. I can appreciate that Folklore is her best album. But my personal favourite albums are those three probably. I don't know why I'm looking at the back for the track list because it's not there, it's on the front. But my favourites from Midnight's including 3am edition would probably be You're On Your Own Kid, Would Have, Could Have, Should Have and Karma. I love Karma. I'm, I was a Karma stan from the day it like, got released. Like That song, very glad it became a single. Now we're going to go on to the one EP that I have in my vinyl collection and it is by my absolute base, Flo. I actually met Flo a few months ago for the Fly Girl pop-up that they did. I won the competition to meet them. It was literally the best experience ever. They are the sweetest girls in the whole world. And this is the EP for the lead and it is just on a clear white vinyl and I would say my favourite, because it's only six songs, I'll just choose one song. My favourite from this final is Feature Me. Like, that song, just top tier. And I would probably say that's probably my favourite across the whole board of their discography so far. And then we also have Beyonce Renaissance. This album is just to die for, like, everything about it, the way the songs transition into each other, like the whole dance club theme without being cliche or cringe, like, it's just such a good album and I would probably say my top three of this album are Heated, Cozy and Virgo's Groove. This is just on a plain black vinyl, a plain black vinyl so I'm not going to bore you with everything but it did come with a huge ass poster and a booklet. Like the vinyl really did say budget and you should get far more than just the vinyl with the price I paid for this so yeah. And then we also have Olivia Rodrigo Sawa. This album is just Teenage Dirtbag at its finest. I love this album so much. Like, this inside is very much giving Mean Girls and I love it with all my heart. And I cannot wait for her new album Guts to come out in September. And my favorite songs from this album are probably Hope You're Okay, Brutal, and Deja Vu. I know that's one of the most popular ones, but it doesn't make it any less good. And then I got this vinyl on the bubblegum pressing. It is so pretty. I love this shade so much. Like, it's very much giving sour, that pressing, and I love it. Next up in my collection, we have Harry Styles. I sadly don't have HS1 on vinyl. It is on my, like, list of vinyls that I need to buy. But I do have Fine Line here. It is just really questionable photos but love it for him he's how he gets away with it you know what i mean my favorite songs from this album probably be fine line falling because i love that song before but then little mix covered in i fell in love with it even more and treat people with kindness because once i heard that song live it made me have a newfound love for it and then we, and that's just on standard black so i won't bother showing it but we do have Harry's House as well, and this is on a yellow vinyl. My favourite songs on this album will probably be Satellite, Cinema and Little Freak. This is on a really pretty yellow disc. I love this vinyl pressing so much, it looks so cute. This is the only yellow vinyl I have, and I'm very glad I have that in my collection. It looks very cute. That is the end of the video today because if I do continue it any longer we will be here forever because that is only a small part of my vinyl collection. I am very grateful for all the vinyls that I have. I have worked hard for them. I have saved my money for them. But if you would like a part two let me know because I have much more vinyls by like Ariana Grande, Lord, Dua Lipa, 
who has Charlie XCX, Mabel, Lizzo, I have so many other artists on vinyl, they were just like my main core stand list, if that makes sense. So that is it for today, but I will see you next time for a brand new video. Bye.